Hi everyone, it's Alia or Cake Legend and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another cake decorating tutorial. Though this video is going to be less instructional and more like, this is a cool cake I made and this is how I made it. Kung Fu Panda 4 just came out yesterday and I love those movies so I wanted to make a Kung Fu Panda themed cake to celebrate. I'm sure I've talked about my love for animation and cartoons on my channel before, so some of you might be familiar with that. So basically, for this cake, I was going with a more artistic style. I've done this kind of style before, and it's usually for fandom-themed cakes like this. And I like to think of it as making a painting on the cake, but obviously with buttercream instead of paint. I've done a Legend of Zelda themed cake like this, also a Pirates of the Caribbean themed cake, and a Tangled themed cake. But none of those cakes were on their side like this one is. This cake was a 6 inch cake that was only 2 layers of cake with 1 layer of ganache in the middle. I had it in the freezer for a while, so I took it out, cut off one of the sides so it was flat and then I propped it up like this. For this cake, I was doing two scenes from the movies. One scene from the first movie, and on the back, a scene from the third movie that's kind of like a parallel to this first scene. If you know Kung Fu Panda, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I started on the first side with a blue base. We had a little bit of an ombre going on. When this scene takes place, it's kind of dark. So I just went for that and covered it how I normally would, let the buttercream go up on the sides, and kind of finished it off by having it look like it's bleeding out onto the board a little bit. Then I flipped the cake around so I could cover the other side in yellow buttercream. This one was a little different. I started with my first shade of yellow, which was more like a goldeny tone. And I only did like the top half, it was a little more than half. Because the bottom needed to be covered in a different shade of yellow and it needed to be more clean. Couldn't just be a regular ombre like the first side. When I come up with the designs for these cakes, I usually take inspiration from some scene from a movie or whatever it is that I'm doing. And I like looking at fan art online so I can see how other artists have interpreted that scene. And I kind of like dumb it down in a way. Not dumb it down, but simplify it so that I can translate that with buttercream. Obviously you can't pack as much detail on a cake as you can with digital art or a painting. So I try to just make it easier for myself. So I took a piece of parchment actually, so I could make that really clean line. I stuck it on my buttercream and then applied the next shade of buttercream. Then I peeled off the parchment. What I should have done though was chill the cake before putting the parchment on it so that the buttercream was a little more firm because as you can see it got a little messy but honestly I was going to be putting more decoration on it so I wasn't too worried about that.
going back to our first side with the blue base, I used some white coloring to add a little bit of a splatter to be a starry night sky. And then I mixed up some black buttercream so I could start making these mountains. This is the scene from the first movie where we have our character Ugwe and our character Shifu at the sacred peach tree. Ugwe tells Shifu that he must continue the journey on his own and then he ascends to the spirit realm and all the cherry blossoms fly away with him and beautiful music plays and it's it's, it's a wonderful scene. So to create this design, I do a lot of piping and then smoothing out the buttercream with a spatula. I piped the mountains, the basic shape, filled it in and then smoothed it out. Then I just used the spatula to smudge on this white to be kind of like clouds and fog. And then I went for some brown buttercream to make the little cliff side. I used some more brown buttercream to make the tree and this one I didn't really need to flatten out as much because the piping kind of adds the texture that we're looking for. I started with the base and then piped out all the little branches. I was looking at my draft design as I was piping this so every time there's a pause that's me just making sure it looks right. Then I grabbed a lighter shade of brown buttercream and started to do a little bit of shading. Very minimal though, I didn't want to overcomplicate this and just make it look like a big mess. It had been a while since I've made one of these cakes, like in this style, and I was having a lot of fun actually. I was kind of um, dreading it a little bit. Well, I was excited to make it, but I was like, oh, it's going to take so long. It's going to be so much work, but it went by a lot faster than I thought it was going to. After I finished with the light brown buttercream, I mixed up two shades of light pink so I could make all the cherry blossoms. I put some on the tree, but not too many because most of them are floating away in the breeze. And these were really easy to pipe. It was just like a little flick of the wrist, a little squirt of buttercream, very small and very thin, very delicate, but it's really bringing the scene together. I think I want to do a lot more fandom themed baking this year because guys, I just love movies so much and there's so many cool ones coming out. A couple weeks ago, I made avatar themed sugar cookies for the new Netflix series that came out, but I have many more plans, so stay tuned. To finish off this side, I made a little master shifu using a couple shades of brown, some white buttercream, a little black for his nose, he's holding Ugwe's staff, and then this side of the cake was done. Now it's time to work on the other side. I started with some white buttercream to make this little round sun. This scene is going to be the scene from the third movie when we see Master Ugwe again finally in the spirit realm. Poe gets to talk to him while he's hanging out in his new peach tree. I took inspiration for this side from some fan art that I really like that I've seen on Pinterest numerous times before. So I grabbed some brown buttercream left over from before and I made this little rock, added some white buttercream to be like the little ripples in the water.
and then another light shade of yellow in the sky I wanted to smudge it out with my finger so it's not so dramatic looking but it just kind of adds that whimsicalness of the spirit realm when I do these designs it's a lot of making up stuff on the spot just trying to see how I can how I can create the design that I planned on the cake next I worked on the tree using brown buttercream this tree looks a little different from the first tree this one I actually smoothed it out a little bit with my spatula because it's a little thicker in the trunk Then I used some basic shades of brown to make our little Ugwe meditating with his new staff. I wanted to keep the colors really basic. I didn't want to have to mix together a million colors, so mostly browns and yellows, just different shades here and there. I used mostly the same colors for Poe as well. Of course I used black and then a little bit of yellow, making his body, then his arm, his head. I used the same orangey-ish color that I used for Uwe's cape to make Poe's cape, so they're matching. <laughs> and again, it's just the same technique of piping on the shape and smoothing it out. Which is why I kind of think of it as like painting or drawing in a way, just much more delicious. I started adding some different shades to the base of the tree and I used my finger to like dab on a little bit of those brown shades to be the reflection in the water. I let it go down onto the board too because I don't know, I thought it'd look kind of cool. Added some shadows for Uguay as well. And then I gave Poe a hat and added his ears. Now I just needed to add the cherry blossoms to the tree using the same shades as before. This time when I piped them on we wanted this tree to look more full so it was more like a scribbly motion just kind of packing on the buttercream there making it look really textured and full and then I went in with the lighter shade to add some more detail and I started piping the cherry blossoms that were floating around in the breeze just like the first side. If anyone watching this is a fan of the Kung Fu Panda series, tell me what you thought of the new movie, if you've already seen it. And if you're a fan of any other movie or TV show, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do a cake or some other dessert inspired by that theme. But there's a lot of movies that I like and I've got a big list of plans that I'm hoping I can bring into reality this year. So stay tuned, I'm very excited for it, I just gotta make the time to actually do it. <laughs> uh, I love this cake. It turned out so beautiful. Please also let me know what you think of this style. I know this video is more like this is what I did instead of this is how I did it. Here's a step by step really good explanation. But what do you think of this style? I really enjoy it and I think I want to make more cakes like this in the future. Of course, I took a million beauty shots and photos of it at the end because look at how awesome it turned out. I was so pleased with it. Some of the work could have been a little more clean, but overall, I love it. I hope you all love it as well. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by leaving a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.